hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing another silk press video on my natural hair i did one of these videos a couple months ago and it did really really well i honestly did not expect it to do that well because i don't really do my natural hair but it did really well so i decided to do another one i just wanted to show what i do now i mean it's pretty much the same thing i just added a couple products in a couple new products so i'm just starting off by taking my braids down i do have my hair braided under my wigs for around a month um that's normally how long i keep it braided up before i wash it so i decided to give myself a little break from the wigs before i go back to filming wig videos so i just wanted to show me silk pressing my hair so i'm just starting off by brushing it out doing is I'm separating my hair into two halves because I'm going to be conditioning my hair first um whenever I first cut my hair off a couple years ago I used to always put like a, a hair mask or a deep conditioner in my hair and let it sit for probably like up to two hours or overnight and I found that they used to really really help my hair grow I stopped doing it a long time ago whenever I started wearing wigs so I've decided that I wanted to go back to doing that because my hair was like really healthy and growing really fast and I feel like lately my hair hasn't been growing as fast so I feel like I need to tend to it more put more moisture into it so that's what I'm doing I'm just taking the Aussie three minute miracle and my Kristen S hair mask and putting that in my hair you guys will see the Kristen S mask really soon but um, I'm just doing that and I believe I let it sit for like 20 minutes I believe I'll show how long I let it sit for but I think it was 20 minutes so I'm just working that through my hair a generous amount and you guys can see that little patch in the back of my head that I mentioned in my first video about me giving myself an undercut and it having to grow back it's growing back pretty well but I just always notice that the nape of my hair just takes forever to grow so if you guys have any tips like any on getting the nape of your hair is it the nape I think that's the nape to grow please give me tips I know mine still like breaks off and I'm just I'm just having a hard time getting it to grow faster so if you guys have any tips please leave them below I really appreciate them <laughs> so disclaimer if you do not like seeing people wash their hair in the sink in the kitchen sink i suggest you leave <laughs> my first video i did not know how bad people thought it was for you to wash your hair in the kitchen sink i grew up getting my hair washed in the kitchen sink so that's just what i do i didn't know it was bad i didn't know it was nasty i didn't know so if you have any hate towards hair washing in the kitchen sink please just please don't comment on it please don't comment on it because I just can't but I'm starting off with my head and shoulders um 
detoxifying shampoo because like I said my hair is always braided up for a really long time not getting washed underneath my wigs so I have build up on my scalp and it helps with me with dandruff as well because I do have dandruff sometimes but ever since I started using this I don't have that much dandruff but anyways um I do wash it pretty good get it really foamy um scrub my scalp I wash two times with this shampoo just to make sure my scalp is super duper clean and then I'll move on to my next um, shampoo um, you guys will see that pretty soon all right so with this one I just wash once um, I just use this to like kind of put moisture back into my hair because that head and shoulders head and shoulders one will make your hair feel pretty dry so I use this one just to put some moisture back in even though I'm going to condition my hair um, just really work it through and it also helps to define curls if I were going to wear my hair curly but I really just love the scent of this shampoo I've heard a lot of people say that they don't like the scent of the Kristen S products or is it Kristen S or Kristen S I don't know but I love the scents and they last in your hair like last like smells so good so yeah I just washed that once before I can do So it's time to condition. Look at my hair. Um, can we just talk about heat damage really quick? I know a lot of people um, were talking about me having heat damage in my first silk press video. And I just want to say that whenever I said I had heat damage, I was talking about those two front strands in the front. But let me also say that with my hair type, my hair, my curls get looser the longer my hair gets. So when my hair was short, my curls were really tight, but the longer it gets, the looser they get. So it may look like heat damage. I probably straighten my hair once every two to three months. So I promise you, if I have any heat damage, it's very minimal. I'm not really worried about heat damage. It's just hair. I could cut it off and start over today if I wanted to. Hair has never been that big of a deal to me. So if I do have heat damage, I really don't care about it. So I just want to say that. But I am using, um, this is the Fragrance Free Kristen S Conditioner, and it's shine enhancing. I'm using that one because I just wanted some shine in my hair, and I was running low on my, the one I just showed, the matching one to the shampoo. That's my favorite one because it also smells good, but they make my hair really shiny, so that's why I'm using those. Um, I just wanted to try the Fragrance Free one. It's okay, but I do prefer the one in the orange bottle over the fragrance free one just so you guys know so if you guys want to try it but they're both really good i just prefer one over the other because i don't really like the scent of the fragrance free one it's fragrance free but it has like a weird scent to me but normally i like the curl enhancing one so I just decided to be a little funny and show you guys that I do clean the sink out whenever I wash my hair. I'm putting bleach in it and I'm spraying it with a cleaner. Just so you guys know, I let it sit. I came back and scrubbed it clean. So there's no nasty hair residue in the sink. Just to make the people that don't like hair getting washed in the sink feel better. So next I'm going to be using my John Frieda Frizz Ease. I love this stuff. This is what really helps my hair not frizz up um, after straightening it. it. Keeps my hair really, really straight. I don't have to touch up my hair unless I get it wet or something and a piece curls up. So, 
highly recommend that. This is my lifesaver. You have to put it in dripping wet hair because if you put it in like towel dry hair, it's going to be a little heavy. So apply a small, like smaller than a pea size amount. Start with that. Apply it to dripping wet hair and then towel dry your hair. So next I am getting ready to blow dry my hair. I'm just sectioning off small pieces, detangling it. And well, no, I'm not blow drying yet. I'm just going through and detangling my hair. So I'm just gonna go through both sides and detangle. Then I'm gonna blow dry. I'm not blow drying yet. So this Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant, this also helps with frizz. I do spray a generous amount in each section. Each section gets a generous amount of spray. That really helps with keeping my hair smooth and frizz free. Um, I'm blow drying. Also, someone, I don't remember the name, someone had commented and told me when I'm blow drying to make sure that I'm following all the way to the end with the blow dryer to make sure my ends are getting straight so I don't have to go over them so many times with the flat iron if you guys ever struggle with your ends not getting straight with the flat iron you have to go over them multiple times try that that trick really worked um i wish i could remember who told me that but it really does help and i really do recommend it do it it's a life changer i don't have to go over my ends as much probably only once or twice at most so yeah really try that i'm just gonna go through and blow dry all of this and then i'll come back when it's time for me to straighten
so on to the straightening also i did get a new flat iron someone recommended that i should get a new one so i don't have to do so many passes in my hair and i do listen to you guys so i decided to invest in a new flat iron um i could probably get a better one i just got the baby is it babyless babyless the titanium one um i believe it's one inch the skinniest one well besides a little tiny one but i'll have it linked below if you guys want to purchase one or try it out um it's it's good uh um i expected it to be better maybe i'll try a different one but i did expect it to be better than what it is i like it though it gets the job done really well better than my last flat iron but i'm just going through um i will say on a couple strands i do do a couple passes so if it makes you cringe i'm sorry but i did um just going through using the chase method to flat iron my hair and i think i only show me straightening one side so look at that shine look at the body look at the ends i do need to get my ends clipped i should probably do that next time i straighten my hair i do my own trims so i'll probably do it next time which will be in like two months i do have a couple split ends but other than that i feel like i'm talking too much now so i guess i'll be back when i'm almost done
right, so now we're at the end. Um, my hair is all straightened. My forehead looks huge. This is why I don't like wearing my natural hair out because I feel like with a wig, I can customize my forehead to look smaller, but it may not even look big. It may just be me. But I'm just bumping my ends a little bit and I'm gonna spray some um, Dry Healing Mist, the OGX brand in my hair to add some shine, some moisture without weighing my hair down, some scent. Look how long my hair has gotten. I feel like it's gotten a lot longer since the last time I showed it. I think it was at my shoulders last time, but yeah, it looks really good. I need a trim though. I kind of want to even it out so it's all one length, but I don't want to start over just yet. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to have everything linked down below, all the products that I use linked down below so you guys can check them out. If you guys have any questions hair related or not anything drop them in the comment section below i will do my best to get back to you and answer all of them i just want to thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for supporting me helping my channel grow i'm on the road to 10k i'm at 6,000 right now we have a little bit of a way to go but we're gonna get there but yeah thank you guys so much for watching oh and don't forget to like comment subscribe i always forget to say that but thank you guys thank you thank you thank you so much and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys